small break. Uh, I'm editing the video right now, and I just realized that I shot everything in the lowest quality settings. So uh, yeah, sorry for the bad video quality of this video. <laughs> So you might be wondering why I'm making a video about memory. The reason is lately I've been shopping for the Mac Studio and what I realized is the memory inside the Mac Studio is very expensive. Right now I'm not quite ready to buy the Mac Studio, but I have been running out of space using my laptop that's over here. So I made the move to order this right over here. So uh, the, what is it called? The OWC Express 4M2 allows me to uh, customize my own drive setup. Uh, now I could use this as a RAID system. Uh, however, that's not my intent for it. I intend to only use it as active storage. Uh, everything that's storage that I'm not using, I put in other large disk drives uh, that I never barely touch only to store stuff in there. Um, so yeah, if we just look at the economics of it, go to the Mac Studio. Just to go up to four terabytes of storage, it's $1,500 extra on the Mac Studio. And this right here in Canadian probably ended up being around $300. And then each of the two terabytes that I put in here was about $160 Canadian. So it's almost half the price. So with the speed of Thunderbolt these days, it's not really worth it to spend $1,500 or $3,000 for the eight terabyte. And also if one day I decided to put uh, four eight terabyte uh, disks in there, I can. I have the flexibility of changing out the memory. When it comes to the Mac Studio or any MacBook Pro, you don't get to change the memory. The memory that's inside the computer is stuck there. If anything goes wrong with it, or if you wanna change the drives, you're stuck with what's inside the computer. With this, I get to change it and modify it as much as I want to. So I'm gonna hook this up and uh, yeah, see if I can make this work and uh, program it. All right, so obviously we're the next day right now. Uh, I did a bit of research and yeah. So what I ended up finding out is that I had to go into the RAID system, which is if you go up and file, you go down to RAID, and then you go on concentrated JBOD, we'll call it like that. It'll actually create what I wanted, which is unifying multiple hard drives as one. So you'll want to yeah, go to file, go down to RAID, and then you'll you'll have uh, this uh, menu open up, click on JBOD, and then uh, go to next. Then you'll select the drives, in this case, both of the uh, Kingston drives, and then you go next again, and then you'll be able to name your hard drive. You can decide which format you want to use. Basically, since I'm doing video, uh, I want smaller chunk size for the larger files, but I will be using other types of files, such as photos and stuff like that. So I still in middle ground with 32k and then yet yeah, you do next and you will create your uh, your drive and then boom if we go into disk utility we can see that we have one unified ssd with my name on it you can see that capacity is four terabytes which is perfect since i had two two terabyte drives and uh yeah that's it i figured it out another thing i took out the fan I took out the fan because it was so loud, it was obnoxious. I flipped the, the case upside down, that way the grills for the fans are facing up and the heat has somewhere to get out. I will be keeping track of the heat. If it's too much heat, then uh, I might try to just change the fan on this for something that's more silent. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I do intend on making more videos. Uh, so yeah, ciao.